tape for this bantamweight fight. 25-year-old Peg against 27-year-old Camus. Dustin Peg, three inches taller. He will have an eight and a half inch reach advantage with the introductions, Bruce Buffer. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a striker. Holy professional record, 11 wins, three losses. 25 feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Chico the King Camus. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record, 11 wins, seven losses. 75 feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Dallas, Virginia, Dustin, the Disciple Peg. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Tom Johnson. Tom Johnson, our referee for this fight at 135. There is Brittany Ariani. We are here tonight inside Pepsi Center for UFC 150. And here we go. White trunks for Dustin Pegg. Black trunks for Chico the King Camus. Duke Rufus said Chico has outstanding hands and he is one of the best athletes to train his MMA at his gym in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Very close relationship with Anthony Pettis. Showtime still recovering from the shoulder injury. Can't wait for him to get back. Good jab by Peg and an instant counter by Camus. Good left hook by Peg. That clipped him. Peg is more of a kickboxing based striker than Camus, who likes to really showcase his hands. And there's the kick. But Camus puts him on his back. Caught the kick, took him down. Full guard. And Camus pressing him up against the cage here, which used to be the way that fighters try to control fighters until uh, they realized that they could wall walk and press their back up against the cage and use it to get up. Peg right now is utilizing a full guard, but he's controlling the right arm of Camus, so keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on the left leg of Peg while he's on the ground. Note how he's controlling that right wrist, Mike. What he's going to try to do is throw that left leg up. There he is. That's it right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's a triangle, baby, and that's locked in. He almost has it underneath the... He has to get his left knee. Yeah, he's got it under it now. Big elbow. Camus uh, is in a, a tricky situation here. He's got a little bit of space because he doesn't have his left arm cross his face now, but Peg is going to try to do that. He's going to try to push the left arm of Camus across his face, and that will constrict him. And that will, uh, Peg, it looked like, is actually trying to flip him over and get him onto his back. In this position, he could submit him, though, just from here if he used the, the head grab. If he uh, used a gable grip around the back of the head and pulled down on the head, makes it incredibly difficult to breathe as he's squeezing down with the triangles. But we'll see what he's trying to do, Mike, is trying to push that left arm across Chico's face. If he can get Chico's arm across his face, right now where Chico's arm is on the outside, see how he's trying to push it? Dustin's trying to push it. And Chico's got a minus P's and Q's with that elbow. He's got to keep his weight on that elbow. Good elbow from the bottom by yeah, Peg. He's had a number of them, Joe. Yeah, as you mentioned, Camus has got to be careful where those arms go. So it's tough to defend himself in this position. Well, Peg has this triangle locked in, but he is, uh, is not doing everything he can to try to submit him here. What's the key for Chico Camus here? Chico Camus is doing a good job by pushing down on that left arm, and that creates a little space where his neck is. What he wants to make sure is that his shoulder and his arm never gets across his body, which will constrict his air and constrict the blood to his neck. He wants to keep his arm in that position or to the outside. And he also wants to try to keep his posture up as much as possible. Then what he's going to want to try to do is figure out a way to separate those legs. Either he can wait Dustin out and see if Dustin wears his legs out, which it already looks like he's doing a little. He's, he's already loosening it up. See how it's moving towards the toes? Yeah, you can see instead it on the of foot, being, yeah. yeah. See, as the ankle and the calf move towards the toes, that means it's slipping out. And that's and there it. it. And there it slipped yeah. it out. He lost it. So, so nicely yeah. done by Chico Camus. Yeah, good pace there and good defense and he made sure he never got that arm across it when when Dustin kept trying to push it he made sure he defended and kept that arm in place and now Camus uh, is scoring points from the top position 
How much energy did Dustin Pay utilize trying to finish that up? Well, it's a lot. When you're squeezing down on a, le on the, a guy with your legs like that, it takes a lot of gas. But it didn't look like he completely exerted himself and 100% committed to it, so Dustin could have been pacing himself as well. And Dustin has great conditioning. I'm just surprised he never gave a grip the back of the head and really tried to finish it there. There's a lot of guys who don't know that you can do that. It's incredibly hard to breathe, and he's going to switch it to an omoplata. He's going to roll. He's rolling to a shoulder lock. He's got to control the waist there, Mike. He's got to reach. See how he's reaching with his right arm? Okay, this is out. He lost it. He lost it because he didn't control that waist. When you go for that omoplata, one of the most important position, parts of that position is two parts. One, to keep your legs very, very tight around the arm, and two, to keep your arm around the waist nice to elbow. keep the guy from defending. He's going to try to go for it again. The cut on the forehead of Dustin Pegg from some of the elbows from the top position by Chico Camus. If Dustin is underhooking uh, Chico's right arm, his arm might be caught, uh, uh, rather uh, left leg. His right arm may be caught here. Final seconds of round one. Brother, too easy, too easy. Okay, hey, listen, same thing. Okay, you don't, no more high cuts. Okay, listen. all low cuts, all low cuts, nothing up the That's high. Dumb. All right, listen, you get back in that position again, you have to post those feet. Okay, immediately on those hips and get up. Okay, get up. Yeah. Beautiful levels from the bottom there. Keep them going. Okay. okay, no high kicks, do what you do, take your angles. Okay, and listen for my push. Listen for my push. Okay, all day. Let me throw his big face like that. Pop yeah, pop, yeah, yeah. Simple yeah. straight back. Yeah, just catch him. Every time in the ground falls hit. You gotta let your hands go, baby. Let him go. You're there. All, all there. All the way through. Scott Cushman, Anthony and Sergio Pettis in the corner of Camus here tonight. Duke Rufus back in Milwaukee with his wife Tammy. They are expecting the birth of their daughter Lula Nesta Rufus any day now. So congratulations to Duke Rufus and his wife Tammy. Camus doing a nice job. Once he was able to get free, he did a nice job from the top, Joe, and then ended up outstriking Dustin Pegg, who was throwing the elbows from the bottom. Down he goes, though. And now Pegg takes a page out of Camus's book, catches the kick, and takes him down. While we're in commercial, Scott Cushman said to Chico Camus, open up with the right hand, and he did. But now he's on his back. And we'll see what kind of ground game Chico Camus has here. He defended well against the triangle, got back up to his feet very nicely. Now let's see if he can fight this fight in his realm. And he does with the quick jab. See if he can open up with the hands a little bit, not have to fight off submission attempts by Dustin Pegg. And again with the one-two. He has excellent hand speed, Mike. Oh, big left hook. Duck Dunder ended up on top, but he ate it on the way looking for that takedown. Good job by Chico getting him down here. On top in the half guard. Stepping over, trying to control that left arm. Anthony Pettis literally got Chico Camus off the streets years ago and said, hey, come on and let's train this MMA. About five years ago, Chico and Anthony very, very close. Born and raised in Milwaukee in top position against the Pennsylvania native Dustin Pegg. Pegg fighting for the third time since June 8th, as we mentioned earlier. And Chico, again, he keeps stepping over, trying to control that left arm of Dustin Pegg with his right knee. See him keep stepping up and trying to pin that down. He's got to get his uh, right leg, or excuse me, his left leg out before he starts doing that, though. It's not going to do him any good until he gets that leg free. Once he gets that left leg free, then pinning down those arms is a better option. But until his leg is trapped in the half guard of Dustin Pegg, it doesn't really help too much. And in fact, it may open him up to a sweep. 
if he steps up like that and gets real high and stretched out, he could, uh, he could get swept. Good punches on the ground, though, by Chico Camus again. Chico Camus steps over in the half guard, or excuse me, into side control. Very nicely done by Chico. Exactly what you were talking about, getting that left leg yeah. free. Now this is a much better position for him. And now he's going to try to do the same thing. He will try to pin down the left arm of Dustin Pegg with his right knee. He's trying to get himself in a position. I think what he's going to try to do is, oh, look, Dustin got him right back in the guard again. Very nicely done by Dustin. Good hips. And that was a big, a big screw up by Chico because Chico was advancing, was moving forward, and now Dustin has got him back into a defensive position. Total strikes, two to one advantage for Camus thus far, and many of those have been ground strikes. Working in the full guard of Dustin Pegg here, top position for Camus making his UFC debut tonight here in Denver. Pig trains in Dulles, Virginia. Both men with 11 professional same, wins. Same thing again, Mike. He's got that right wrist control, and he's going to go for that triangle again. T keep an eye on the left leg of Dustin Pegg. He will throw it over the right shoulder of Chico and try to slap that triangle down again. But this time, if he does it, he's got to pull the head. And I didn't hear that from his corner. They didn't advise Good Nice elbow. elbow from the bottom. I didn't hear them advise that. But again, that's something that a lot of people don't realize. Once just, you have that triangle locked in, if you just leave it there, the, the guy can survive. If you pull the head, it makes it incredibly difficult for him to survive. Under 30 seconds now on the clock here in the second round. Chico's doing a real good job of ground and pound from the top, Mike. Yeah, he has had top position for the majority of the time here in round two. Briefly moved into half into side control, rather. That was his only time in a dominant position, but even in the guard, is very aggressive. Good D to the body there. Yeah, a lot of octagon control for Chico Camus here in the second. Sit, sit, sit. Okay. Listen to me. All right. We need to go heavy now. We need to go heavy. All right. Listen. We need to put pressure. We need your route a little bit more. Okay. The angles. He's taking me down with these, these bouncing angles. Okay. I need your plan a little bit more. Put him against the cage and you take him down. Okay. You blind him against the cage. You take him down. No more takedowns on his side. Okay. If you plan as you walk, you blind him forward against the cage. Work your clinch. You're taking down. It's one run right now. Okay. We need this round. All right. See a fight. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I know right now. Stay standing. Oh, no, stay. Use your hand. Yeah. You can keep trouble and do it. You're yeah. Standing. Yep. Move, move. Your hands. Don't let him back you up, though. You let him walk slumpy. Get in his face. Stand. Yeah, Bob. Hit him. Hit him. Step off to the Still side. Hit again. Little bit. What's up? I'll be good. Yep. Come on, baby. Keep that. Let's go, Chico. Dustin Pegg, Chico Camus, third and final round. Quickly taking the center of the octagon is Pegg, and he looks for the takedown. Yeah, he was listening to his corner. That's what they called for. And Dustin has his back. Chico's doing a real good job of trying to slide Dustin off the top, but Dustin isn't going for it. He's got full back mount now. Body lock, got that triangle locked in. Very nicely done. That didn't take any time at all. No, it did not. Not Chico's, good for Chico. Chico's doing the smart thing, though, Mike. See how he rolled towards the side where the triangle's locked on? That put, puts pressure on the ankle of Dustin Pegg and keeps him from putting too much, uh, too much pressure on Chico's abdomen with his triangle. Although I should say there is a submission from this position that I don't know. <laughs> you don't know it. I don't know it. <laughs> I have to learn it. It's called, like, the execution or something. I get it. But I, I, I like when he holds down this, this body lock, if he can just uh, switch sides and put it onto the, the, the other leg, put his right knee, or right foot rather, under his left knee, he can uh, put more pressure. Because right now Chico's, he's, even though he's trapped in the back mount, he's not in pain here. 
Now Dustin can apply some pressure. Now that Chico rolled over onto his left side, there he goes. Now, now, and see, immediately Chico rolls him back over there. Chico's very wise. He's doing the right thing. But see how he's trying to turn? He can't turn. Once that's locked in, it makes it very difficult for an opponent to turn into you and wind up in your guard. That is the purpose of the body triangle. When you mount a guy, though, if you flatten him out and you get on top of him, then that body lock, that triangle actually can become submission. Ivan Salaberry. Yes. On Tony Fricklin years ago. And it is incredibly painful. It's like a spine submission. Look at that. Spinning nicely Even inside, done. And that's, he took advantage of a little gap in the yep. triangle of Dustin Pegg. Chico's very explosive. And that's something, Joe, you always talk about, the danger in that position as your opponent can turn and end up in top position here, which is exactly what Camus did. Yeah, you have to do two things when you're doing that. One, you have to have a very strong over-under control. You never let go of that over-under no matter what. And you have to fight for the submission from there. There's a big difference between no-gi jiu-jitsu and jiu-jitsu with the gi. And a lot of people who are very good at jiu-jitsu and learn jiu-jitsu, they learn with the gi. And when you learn with the gi, you learn, you know, there's a lot more traction, a lot more friction. And because of that, you can get away with doing things like not controlling a tight over-under when you have back mount. But in MMA, you can't get away with that. Camus entering the octagon tonight. Riding a three-fight winning streak. Camus is trying to get that left leg free, and if he does so, he will be mounted on Dustin Pegg. Let's see if he can get that left leg free. He's working hard for it. I think he's got it. Almost. Just a little bit of a dope. Dustin, good hip escape, and got him right back in there. Well, we saw in round two, Joe, when Camus was on top, he was able to put together some good ground and pound on Dustin Pegg. Well, he's controlling this round, and as we showed earlier, he has certainly landed more overall strikes. And although Dustin Pegg came close with that triangle in that first round, really never reached the end stage of the submission where he was in danger of finishing. And Camus with a strong statistical advantage in significant strikes landed as well as the control, octagon control, nearly 10 minutes turned in by Camus. Now Camus has full mount. Just over a minute remains in this fight. Nicely done by Camus. He looks up at the clock. And this could easily be securing him the win here, Mike. He fought through some submission attempts by Dustin Pegg in some bad positions, full and mount. now he's the one who has the back. Trying to get that right arm under the chin of Dustin Pegg. Still has one 30 seconds to finish. He would love to get a finish here in his UFC debut. He'll take a victory, but he would love a finish. 20 seconds now. It'll be hard for Pegg to get out of this position, Joe. He's got it under the chin. Locking Camus it up. has got it. It's a one arm rear naked. He's got it, Mike. Dustin's hanging on. Final seconds of the fight. He went after the finish. Instead, they go the distance. Great fight and great job by Chico Camus. Excellent UFC debut. Joe, take a look at our fight replay. A big takedown by Chico. And Chico had a lot of time in the top position in this fight. There's a very nice right hand by Chico. And a takedown, eats the punch and took him down. And look at this, spun from the back and got on top and did a great job controlling Dustin Pegg from that position. With the official decision of our battle between Camus and Pegg, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 29-28, 30-27, and 29-28 for the winner by unanimous decision, Chico the King Camus. A huge night for Chico Camus as he earns the victory.